Hello folks, today the cover photo is of Grand Marais Harbor on the north shore of Lake Superior. Uh, this episode will be supplementary to the first one on design to answer some questions raised about the cabin walls and how they're fastened to the hull. I did go back to the builder with this question. He was kind enough to send some photos of his build and I've also drawn a uh, sketch to supplement those photos. The construction photo itself is a little dark and uh, the stringer is painted to match the hull so it's difficult to see. In this shot of the port bunk you can see both the sides and the floor. The side panel is one quarter inch AC exterior grade ply screwed directly to the aluminum ribs and the floor is 5 eighths inch treated ply over one and a half inch treated backer fastened to the ribs to level the floor. Here's a general interior shot during the construction phase that shows some of the materials that were used and the construction techniques. You may find it helpful. I just recommend you pause any of these slides that uh, might help you uh, look at more detail. Here's the head compartment uh, showing the uh, steering cables coming in and the back side of the cockpit panel. Following our series of exterior shots, this one shows opening ports on the bow bulkhead. Both of them leaked uh, due to poor drainage and so they subsequently had to be sealed. Here's a shot showing the TPO which is a commercial grade roof fabric uh, being draped over the roof before it's to be fastened down. Here's a subsequent shot showing the aluminum strips that hold it down and those are fastened all the way around the cabin. Okay that's it for this supplementary episode and the design features that we covered. Put your questions in the comments and I'll try to answer as best I can, although I'm not the original builder. And future episodes will emphasize modifications to the boat uh, for longer cruises.